Okay, so I haven't recorded in Value Village in quite some time, but I seen something today that actually caught my eye. And today we found ourselves the uh, Honda S2000 from, uh, I think this one's from 2013, if I'm not mistaken. And there's some other stuff in here that I would like to customize for some custom projects. So we'll take that. And for $3.99, you can't go wrong. Alrighty, guys, back at Walmart, some fresh 2024 DKs. Finally found an R33 Civic. And hey, there's the DK's treasure room. So that's what I found here, and I'll see you at the next stop. Alrighty, back at the uh, Rossi's. Uh, it looks like there's nothing new, but they did move the section over, so I'll show that quick. Oh, they did get these in. These are new. So they didn't have 10 picks. Yeah, there's probably a reason why. They're probably not gonna sell those for 25 bucks. That's crazy. But yeah, so this is like a new section. But yeah, 25 bucks for 10 packs. That is the most expensive I have seen them so far. But those are definitely new. But we'll take a look at them quickly. Just in case. Okay, yeah, nothing even interesting in any of them, but curiosity always gets the best of me, so it's always worth a check. But yeah. Wow. So I'm back at Canadian Tire. Um, they got the new Apex in, and they do have the one with the exclusive Skyline. There's that new exclusive, uh, I think it's a 992 GT3 or 911 GT2, one of the two. Um, but there's another one, and I think from what I'm looking at here, that this probably is the better pack of the two and so I'm thinking I might grab that for the Skyline that's a pretty nice one so I think I'm gonna take that for the Skyline and I will see you at the next stop. Alrighty so I'm back at Walmart um I was here a few days ago I seen some remnants of Zamac H cases so I do think I missed that drop but I guess you never know because I did just come across some like E case with the, uh, I finally found that Ram truck, that 57 Chevy is pretty cool. And yeah, I came across another little Civic. So I'm gonna take those three. And I did look at those, those are all modern classics cases. And we'll look at that and you're gonna see. Watch this. There is not a single Civic in any of these four boxes. And I guarantee you a couple of these head chases in them, but that's okay. No civics in any of them, no chases, but it was worth showing. For a second, I thought I found one, <laughs> and I just jinxed myself, but I didn't, so that was fun. Would have been better if it was like a Pop Culture or a Boulevard, the new one with the S15, but that's okay. Did find some little, some nice little E-case finds, and that's kind of cool. I know that's the same act for H case too, but I'm gonna pass on that. But all I'm taking is uh, right here, and I will see you wherever that next stop may be. So I'm cutting back in here at Walmart. Um, I just decided to take another look at the five packs, but I did notice this one with the new NSX. That's pretty cool. And then you got the nice uh, C8R Corvette, the Aston Martin, I think Vantage V8. The McLaren Senna, and is that the new Jaguar F-Type? I think that's the one, that's the one that came out as a Super back in uh, 2022. But yeah, I think I'm gonna take that. I really, if you guys know me, I love my Acura and Honda stuff. So I'm definitely taking that for the Acura, that's cool. So I will now see you at the next stop. This one was definitely not the most exciting of peg hunts, but we still had some good finds. I know this video had a lot of really short clips, and I figured what we'd do is we'd just kind of showcase some of the cars from these multi-packs. And I will start out with the 8-pack, which is 15, 16 bucks Canadian at our local Canadian tires, which is about the equivalent to 
buying eight cars in the store. Whether that be eight singles. So, not bad, but still, you're looking at two bucks a car. The only two that really caught my eye in this pack were the were the new Hako, which is the, the main exclusive, which I was after. I will sit that on the turntable, as this one is very cool. I think, in my opinion, this is the casting that they should have went with for the Super, because that is one mean front end. And forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure this is how they look stock. And if we take a look at the Super, the Super has the hubcaps over it, or the, the caps that go over the lights, as it is more of a racing style version of the Hako. But, and if you do look at these castings, there are slight differences between the two. But overall, it's mainly in the, in the front lights. Everything else about the casting seems to be fairly the same. But, I definitely like the style that they went with on the multi-pack significantly better. And there's really not too much to say. This one's one of the nicer exclusives we've seen in quite some time. And it looks like that front end might be a little bit wider. But, not much more to say on that. The only other reason I picked up that 8-pack was for this beautiful Porsche. I let's take a look. I believe that is a 992. Or a 911. Yeah, it's a 911 GT2. So we're back. My camera cut out. I don't know why it happened, but it did happen. But anyways, the 911 GT2, an absolutely gorgeous one here. And it looks like a pearl yellow, I believe. And it's just, overall, they did this one well. And they got the Porsche logo. This one they just kind of keep clean. This is a casting I would love to see in the main line. We always see it in multi-packs or like mystery models, but we never see this one in the main line anymore. The last time I think we seen this one, it was like blue with the, with the black stripe maybe. And I know it came out in the exotics pack a few many years ago, and that one was in green with the the black decals, and it looked really good. But I love how Hot Wheels did this yellow one. Absolutely spectacular job. I also opened up the five pack, which, as you heard in the video, the main reason was for this Acura NSX, an absolutely gorgeous car. One of my favorite castings to collect, and it's one of my favorite cars ever. And growing up around Honda and Acura, as well as Dodge, that's kind of what led me down the path to enjoy Acura as much as I do. And again, just like the Porsche, this one's a very well executed casting and release. They did this one perfectly. You had the nice tail lights and the headlights, and you really don't need to go fancy with this car because it looks good with just the plain lights on it. That front end, I think they're getting even better by the year that they do that front end. Like, the, that, the headlight detail looks so good on that. And as I was mentioning with that pack, there's the Jaguar F-Type, I believe it's Project 7. But yeah, I have the super treasure hunt of that car loose. And I do have it carded as well, but this is the one I was talking about. Now, most collectors know about this version, but there are collectors that may have started fairly recently who prob may have not known what I was talking about, so I figure I'd share that as well. But overall, it was a solid peg hunt. We found some uh, D case, which I didn't get the chance to talk about because I've been rambling on for long enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Share it with your friends, family, cats, dogs, squirrels, whoever. Please just share the video. And happy hunting and stay safe.